Hey everyone, I'm Larissa Liska at Cal Allen. We're the Wildcats are in UIL 4A Division 1 this year. And while they have a new head coach leading the charge, one staple that's returning is their stud running back, Jude Hernandez. As a team, as a senior class, we've been playing since we were younger. So really on the varsity level, we might have a couple years, a couple games. As a team, we're, we're, we've been together for a while, so I think that's one of the best things that's going to help us go really far. Hernandez is a two-way player, running back and linebacker. He's got strength and power, and this year he will have help from the trenches. I think we got a great group of uh, linemen. I think that's one of our strengths this year. We got four seniors on our offensive line. It's always going to start up front with those guys and establishing the run, but uh, you know, we got some good skill kids and we got some guys we can get the ball to. Uh, so, you know, I think yeah, I'm excited to watch these guys play. Cal Allen's new head coach, Charlie Reed, inherited a roster with experience on offense, like quarterback Sebastian Dennis, a senior that's expected to be more involved this fall. A lot more opportunities for me to get out the pocket, throw the ball, and we still have a good running. We have a great running back, Jude. So the team just, we're just looking a lot good, a lot better this year. Prior to hiring Reeve, Callen's coaching staff had the same defensive mind for 40 years. While there are some changes, there is also tradition, like building on physicality. Uh, we have experience coming back in our, on the uh, D line and on our linebacking core. We have a little bit of younger secondary, but a lot of those guys have gotten some reps. They've played. They, uh, we're able to get, get everything in with us, so I think overall we're pretty experienced and I think everybody's ready to go play. Cal Allen kicks off their season against Gregory Portland right here at Phil Danaher Stadium on Friday, August 30th at 7 p.m. for the Battle of the Wildcats.